First, Bill Wood is live on Magazine Street at the new auction company. Good morning, Bill. Tell us more about how this all works, this auction. Tameka. Good morning, Tameka. Good morning, Seth. Yes, and say good morning to Polly Rollman Smith, who knows all yes. there is to know about how Chris Owens lived and the things that surrounded her, which can be yours if the price is right, including, are these some of her Easter bonnets from her famous parades? These are some hats that Chris Owens wore at Easter. We also have her Easter costumes, which these are some of my favorite things in the auction. The auction is tomorrow at 11 a.m. It's online. So all you have to do is go to our website, neilauction.com. It's very easy to register to bid. And you can bid on these amazing items from legendary performer Chris Owens. Um, this piece right here was one of her Easter costumes. The hat was custom made for her by um, Florida Perry right here in New Orleans on Royal Street. Um, this yellow costume I think is amazing. I love these Beautiful and these hat. are these are quintessential Chris. But I gotta tell you, <laughs> I, I thought that these bongo drums here, Babalu. I had no idea that she uh, liked a little drum music yeah, from time absolutely. to time. Yeah, um, absolutely. So she was really into Latin music and performing the Latin dance styles. So, of course, congas, conga rhythms were very much in her performances. So these were her conga drums, um, which you can bid on. And racks and racks and uh, racks of her, yes. of what she liked. Uh, she loved Betty Boop, huh? She did love Betty Boop. Um, we've got this really cool leather Betty Boop jacket, leather jumpsuit um, with these cool turquoise flowers. And these over are... here, Polly, in this case, <laughs> and this has particular significance to you. This is it a does. plate. This is her plate from <laughs> Commander's Palace. It, yes. So that was her plate um, that she took from Commander's Palace. Um, I'm sure they gave it to her. But it's very, very cool. Um, I worked at Commander's Palace in college and waited you on Chris Owens. Did. Do you think that is the plot? What did she like to yes. eat over there? Did she I have a, a special dish? I'm sure she a loved their creme brulee. That's one of the best things. And she really is classic and the owner of a, a Bourbon Street nightclub and really an entrepreneur and a businesswoman yes. like never before. Yes. But she also liked to uh, surround herself with her furs, right? Right. She was a collector of fine furs and lots of many beautiful decorative objects. But we have some of her fur coats, two short fur coats and some long fur coats. This one was purchased from Godshaw's department store on Canal Street. Um, it's got the original label in it, which I think is really special. It's, um, it's, it's a warm place to be. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, she probably didn't get much use out of these in New Orleans. But, so what kind um, of money are we talking about to have something from Chris Owens? Um, so the auction is unreserved, um, meaning if you are the lowest or the only bidder, it's yours. Um, so there's a lot of very affordable things in the auction. Some stuff even 50 bucks. Yes. Okay, we're going to take yes. a look at, we're going to move into the, the dining room and all that in just a few minutes to make okay. unsafe. What do you think? Anything here you... Uh, oh, yeah, wow. all those. <laughs> Whatever is 50 bucks or less. That's oh, my budget. <laughs> Iconic pieces from an icon. Man, <laughs> nice stuff. <laughs> Bill.